Hello Air Signs, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius. Welcome to my channel. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support. In this reading, we are going to get an update on your important love messages for today. Please bear in mind that this is a general reading and it may not resonate with each and every one of you. Spirits and angels, please show me. Important love messages for Gemini, Libra and Aquarius today. Okay, so we've got the Five of Swords at the bottom of the deck. For those of you, if you've already walked away from somebody, Eight of Cups and the Justice and the King of Swords, please trying to say that you are doing the right thing, okay? It's definitely a right thing because of the justice here. So, um, and for some of you, you may be thinking this is the right thing to do. But I'm here to confirm to you, if this is what you're doing, again, you're doing the right thing. The justice for me also may be an indication of karma. So someone may be assured by the fact that if I was to walk away from this connection, this person will receive their karma. Um... Maybe because of the tower and the devil here. I feel like someone may have mistreated somebody uh, in this connection or that the connection could be very toxic, um, unhealthy. Again, roles can be reversed between you and your person. So when I say someone or somebody, that means it could be you or your person, okay? But the tower here is in reverse and also got the five of wands in reverse. So definitely sense somebody here doesn't want to be a part of this drama. Uh, just avoiding the tower moment or another tower moment, meaning an ending that's very ugly or dramatic, uh, something that is unexpected. I feel like for some of you, maybe something unexpected may have happened in the past. For some of you, it's five of wands is a fighting card, right? It could be fights, like literal, literal physical fights. If it's not that, it's arguments. Uh, again, it could be altercations, drama, external factors, internal factors that could be meddling this connection or blocking this connection from happening or um, blocking this connection from being happy. Again, the five of wands can indicate another lover as well, um, especially with the three of cups. And then we've also got the devil here. So for those of you, only for those of you involved in a third party situation, I sense there's this energy of someone just walking away from that equation, not wanting to be a part of it, thinking, you know, King of Swords here, this is the right thing to do. Most likely it's you because the King of Swords is you, but then again, roles can be reversed. But I feel like you have decided to cut this person off, not wanting to be a part of, again, this third party situation. If it is a third party situation, if it's not a third party situation, you just think that this is the right thing to do and you're just walking away. Eight of Pentacles here, I'm up first, not wanting to work on this connection in, anymore. I'm making a very, very clear decision with the two of wands here, I'm up first, a very firm decision and not wanting to be fooled again for the second time. So when I say someone again, it could be you or your person. So someone here, the fool in reverse, maybe someone could be thinking, you know, I'll be stupid, I'll be a fool to give this person a second chance or to continue being in this connection um, because it's it would be a mistake, right? The fool here in reverse. So I feel like Spirit's also telling you, um, and how do you say, confirming that as well, confirming to you that you absolutely doing the right thing by cutting this person off and yes the fool here in reverse and the tower some something something that had happened between two of you it may repeat itself i feel like deep down you know that right king of swords you know the king of swords is somebody intelligent somebody um whom is very logical so i feel like a lot of you could be taking very logical steps or making a very logical um decision to again move away from this person and six of cups here is a love verse there's this energy of someone feeling that you know i don't think i want to return to this person because of some bad memories here i see a lot of you just like so strict and so firm again with your decision to completely walk away from this person uh, but we've got the six of wands here right the king of pentacles and also we've got the three of cups and lovers some of you could be in a same gender relationship but i have to say this though with the five of swords there's definitely an energy of someone just being either very manipulative somebody who wants to win at all costs 
or could be deception as well with the devil here and the two of pentacles in reverse i feel like a lot of you know that this something is being done deliberately and that perhaps you know again there could be some sort of deception someone not being not telling the truth or someone not having really good intentions towards you and the king of pentacles here is in reverse could be dealing with a virgo capricorn taurus someone i actually to be honest i don't like this energy at all you could be dealing with somebody whom i feel like could be disloyal um could be a scrub <laughs> uh could be a leech it could be that or they, they could be lazy or if it's not any of those things they could be non-committal, right? Non-committal and six of ones, liking attention from other people. Um, and also could be keeping their options open while they're in a relationship with you. This person thrives on attention, thrives on drama as well. Because we, again, we've got the five swords and the five of ones here in reverse. So there's this energy of somebody here. Again, it could be you or your person. Please bear in mind, it could go vice versa. But um I feel like this is you, right, King of Swords? You cut this person off because you already know who this person is. And uh, some of you, again, you be feeling, you could be feeling right now, I'd be so stupid to return to this person. <laughs> I'd be so stupid to give this person a second chance. But again, this energy, this, this person here, Six of Wands, just liking, again, attention, you know, thriving on drama. They thrive on drama. With the devil here have bad intentions selfish intentions and three of cups here is in wrong first so for a lot of you it could also be you just thinking you want to keep your options open with a six of wands here and a lot of you don't think that you would want to return to this person or reconcile with this person because you know that you could be dealing with someone whom is very very hard to deal with all the situation between you and your person could be very very hard to deal with it is something toxic or unhealthy again so you made a choice here to open a close of verse for a lot of you you've already made a choice i'm not going to invest anymore in this connection and i'm, I'm cutting this person off let's see more look ten of swords ten of uh ten of cups here huh interesting so we've got the ten of cups ten of cups for me there are two tens right indicates an ending some of you you make a choice you're making a choice to find your own happiness find your own uh happily ever after after this ten of swords after being lied to or cheated on betrayed or after a, a very sad uh devastating ending here so it could be anything right ten of swords some of you maybe this person did lie or cheat uh, and for some of you, maybe it's not lying or cheating. It's just hard to deal with somebody whom uh, could be very negative or toxic. Again, it could be because of addiction, abuse, or someone whom is lazy. Somebody is somebody whom is non-criminal, not financially stable. It can be any of these things. Yeah, just state what resonates with you. And also, we've got the nine of cups here. For a lot of you, you could be wishing and hoping. You know. At the end, because of this ending with the Ten of Swords, that you can finally see the rainbow, right? You can finally uh, search for the person whom is whom you foresee yourself being with uh, long term. It feels like it's at a point where you're wishing for it, right? And for some of you, maybe your wishes are uh, granted um, to meet this person, Ten of Cups. Here. But the Nine of Cups also for me maybe an indication of somebody whom is very indulgent indulging somebody who indulges a lot could be somebody who drinks a lot or likes too much sex being you know uh, somebody promiscuous could be anything again any of these things because the devil is right here so i'm not really reading the nine of cups in a very positive manner because of that and also plus the five of swords here just makes me um feel more negatively towards this situation this person whom you could be dealing with right and nine of cups is also an energy of somebody wanting their cake and eat it too and for some of you it could be third party it could be somebody um whom has another connection but doesn't want to um uh, how do you say 
yeah again it just feels like wanting their cake and eat it too wanting both at the same time but i feel like a lot of you are smart enough unless this is if this is your situation right now right i feel like a lot of you are just smart enough to know that you know it's best to cut this person off because they're ending with the ten of swords here maybe if you have already ended with this person you you already know the hurt and the pain that they have caused you from being selfish. It could be just anything, but I feel like this person is very, very selfish, very self-centered. Um, again, wanting a cake and eat it too. And I feel like you may have been feeling used, neglected, ten of swords here. But with the ten of cups, I feel like a lot of a lot of you, yeah. Again, with eight of cups, it feels like you're again making a very conscious decision to let go of this person and perhaps in search for your ten of cups, somebody else who could give you something fully or make you feel emotionally fulfilled. All right, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, this is your reading. I hope you resonated. If you did, please hit like, share, subscribe. I'm going to leave you with my latest video on the screen right now. This video is from my second channel. It's a travel vlog channel. If you're interested, check it out. And also, I'll leave you with a playlist on the screen. On this playlist, it has all of the readings I've done for you and for the rest of the signs. It says bonus compilation reading. I'll check it out if you want to. As you guys know, I post the videos almost every single day, twice a day these days. So uh, these readings are still valid. Check it out if you want to. Again, there could be some other messages that you may have missed. And also, I'm open for uh, personal readings. If you like to book me, my information is in the description box below. Take care. Bye.